Hello and welcome to our third Mac Journal 6 tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll cover how to format and add content into journal entries, share your journal, and explore other features. Let's get started. Many of the formatting options can be found by selecting the Edit menu and then choosing from the Insert submenu. The first set of options deal with inserting line, paragraph, and page breaks. The second set of options deal with basic graphics and data. To add a link, including a hyperlink to a website, a link to a file on your computer, or another link to another journal entry, first, select Insert Link. In the case of a hyperlink, first, enter the link text. Next, enter the complete website address, and then finally, click the OK button. To link to another journal entry, first, click on the Journal Entry button. Next, select the journal entry or create a new one, and then finally, click the Choose button. To add a link to a file on your computer, first, click on the Folder button. Next, locate the file on your computer, and then finally, click the Open button. To remove a link, first highlight the link you wish to remove. Second. Choose Insert Link, and then finally, click the Remove button. To add pictures, music, videos, or links from your browser, first, from the Window menu, choose Media. Next, select the type of media you'd like to insert by clicking on the appropriate tab. Locate the item you'd like to insert, and then finally, drag the item into your entry. Clicking on the Inspector button launches the Inspector, which allows you to customize various properties for your Mac Journal documents, journals, and journal entries. First, let's take a look at the Document tab. The Document tab provides a few general items you can modify that can be applied globally to your journal or journal entries. The Name field is the name of your Mac Journal document. The Date field is the date your document was created. The Annotation field can contain notes for the Mac Journal document. You can change the document icon by clicking on the button and then selecting from a list of the existing icons, or you can choose one of your own. You can create a custom background for your document by selecting a color or by selecting an image from your computer. The Sorting field allows you to specify a default sort option from the list of options. You can encrypt your document when it's locked by selecting the When Locked option from the pull-down menu. The blog area is where you configure settings to publish your journal or entries to a blog. You can specify a word count goal for your blog by selecting Custom and then entering the number of words in the field provided. The Journal tab allows you to configure settings for the journals within your Mac Journal document. Most of the options carry over from the Document tab. In most cases, you can either inherit the properties already specified in the Mac Journal document, or you can customize the properties for this level. The Entry tab is comprised of several of the properties found within the Document and Journal tabs, but there are some that are unique. The Priority field allows you to specify a priority level from the pull-down menu. You can specify a due date by clicking the checkbox and then specifying the date and time. If you want this entry to be editable, click this checkbox. If you wish to flag this entry, click the flag checkbox. You can change the mood icon by selecting it from the pull-down menu. To associate a hyperlink with the entry, enter it into the field provided. You can specify the geolocation where you wrote this entry by clicking on the refresh button. You can select the time zone from the time zone menu. You can add files related to the entry by clicking on the Add button, selecting the fields you wish to include, and then click on the Open button. Now let's talk about publishing your journals and individual journal entries on various blogs. In order to do that, you need to configure the settings either through the Inspector, which we just discussed, or from the Journal menu, choose Blog Settings. If you have a blog already set up, enter the information. If not, we provided links to the most popular blog sites. Once you set up your blog, you can then enter the configuration settings. When you're done, click the Continue button. 
MacJournal will then try to connect based on the blog settings you've provided and the information will appear in the account tab. Some blog servers don't allow you to store media, so you'll have to specify another location. Click on the Options tab, enter the location and the upload information, and then click on the OK button. Once you've configured your settings, publish your journal by clicking on the Share menu and then choosing Send a Blog. This window appears confirming that you want to publish your entry. Select any options and then click the OK button. Next, this window appears prompting you to enter your password. Enter your password and then click the OK button. To access and use the timer from the window menu, choose Timer. Next, click on the Options button. Now enter the time you wish to dedicate to your writing session, select any other options, and then click on the Done button. Finally, to get the ball rolling, click the Start button. To check the word count and word frequency, from the View menu, choose Statistics. Review the information and then when you're done checking the statistics, click the OK button. To lock your journal from the Journal menu, choose Lock Journal. Enter your password, re-enter it, and then enter a hint you can remember. Finally, click the Lock button. To create a new journal from another source, from the File menu, choose New Entry From, and then choose an option from the list. In the case of a file, choose the file from your computer, and then choose Import. In the case of a web page, enter the website address in its entirety, and then once the page appears, click the OK button. To use a selection of text from an existing entry, First, highlight the selection of text, and then choose New Entry, followed by Selection. To create a new video entry or a new audio entry, first, launch the Recording Bar by selecting Recording Bar from the View menu. Next, click on either the Video or Audio button. Now, press the Record button. When you're finished, click the Stop button. You can change the properties, remove the audio file, or import a new file by clicking on the gear icon to the right. To share your journal entries via email, first, select the journal entry. Now, from the Share menu, choose Email, and your entry will appear in the body of a new email from your default email program. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. If you have any questions, consult the user guide, email us with any questions you have, or contact us via the forums. We're happy to help. For now, though, share your thoughts with the world today.